Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. at this time on expanding the energy fields around each and every one of you we are working with your higher selves on this little project because we can see a potential there for more to be deposited if and when you have these bigger energy fields surrounding you We know that it would take a little bit more of your soul's consciousness to be projected to the earthly plane. And we know that it is possible for this to happen because we have seen it in the past. 
we have seen your collective past and we know what humans are capable of. This is one of the many reasons why we have so much faith in all of you. We have seen the best of you. And we have so much to give. As do the other helpers you have throughout the galaxy and the universe. Therefore, your energy fields can become quite crowded with what we are all giving you. Now, those of you who are receiving this transmission can choose to increase the size and scope of your energy fields just by closing your eyes, intending to do so, and taking a few deep, slow, conscious breaths. We highly recommend it. And we are sending you more of these packets of energy that we want to deposit into your fields right now. And that is true for you no matter when you are receiving this transmission. Because they will keep coming. We are making our push just as the sun and earth have recently made their pushes by increasing their output of energy for humanity. And together we provide you with so much. And there is synergy in the energies that we provide. There's a synergistic effect. We are all working together to help you without interfering and those of you who are open to that help are doing very well in your lives. You have the capacity to excel in your relationships, your health, your careers, your service work, and even your finances. We love to see one of you opening up and feeling your readiness to receive. And as you do this simple exercise to expand your energy fields, you will be doing so in harmony with what your higher selves have told us. They have told us that if you are willing to do that simple exercise, then it means you are ready for a bigger field of energy around you that gives and gives and gives everything that you could ever ask for and certainly 
everything that you could ever need there on your journeys. We are the Octorian Hounds. And we have enjoyed connecting with you. for watching. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to do this uh, work for all of you um, and I really do appreciate all of you who appreciate it. I feel like I meet two of you at least who are brand new to you know working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I feel like every single day that I work I, I meet two or three more people who are just um, so appreciative of what I'm doing here and I'm so appreciative of you because you all make it possible for me to do this um, for a living. Um, so thank you and namaste. Um, I, I took Soleil on a hike today and I carried her almost the whole time. We got just so like very shortly into the hike she took a big um, she tripped over uh, a root or something and fell pretty hard and um, then wanted me to carry her the whole time, <laughs> which was fine. She's 24 pounds. I can do it. Um, and, you know, we did the usual touching all the trees. <laughs> she especially likes touching the baby ones, um, which requires me going off the trail sometimes. <laughs> And then uh, she, we got home, and um, she, uh, she told me when she needed to use the potty, and I, I got her on it, and she did it, and it was like, you know, such a great experience. She's doing so well with it, um, so good at communicating when she has to go. And then she carries the little, you can remove the, the plastic part where the pee is, and you can carry it. So she carries it. I don't even have to tell her to do this. She just picks it up, carries it to the toilet, dumps it in, and then she doesn't flush. But <laughs> she couldn't. I don't think she could reach. Maybe she could, but we haven't trained her that far. <laughs> anyway, um, it was so cool. And um, yeah, then we just had our our uh, time together tonight where I read to her and stuff and um, did the twirling of some stuffed animals, <laughs> throwing them in the crib. Um, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about and your first time viewers, uh, this is my daughter I'm talking about. <laughs> She's about to turn two. She turns two in a week. And... Um, yeah, I've been talking about her almost every night since uh, since we announced that she had arrived into the world. Um, and she's, if you've never seen her before, you've heard me talk about her. I do have an Instagram account with a few pictures of her on there, maybe more than just a few. Um, I know we did one group, one at Christmas and... There's some other ones in there too. And my Instagram is Daniel Scranton Channels. Uh, so you can look me up there if you want to see what she actually looks like. Um, we have to post, I have to post a, another one soon, maybe from her birthday party. So speaking of her birthday, um, I do have a gift registry if you're interested in getting her a gift. It's on the description of the YouTube video down below there. Uh, it's Amazon. And the gifts keep coming in, so thank you, everybody. I appreciate I'm going to get all the gift receipts together, and one day when I'm off during her birthday week, I'm going to thank you to everybody who gifted. Um, so generous and kind 
of all of you to uh, take such an interest in my daughter and cat. Oh, that was the thing I wanted to tell everybody. She knows all the cat's names now, which are not easy to pronounce. So Persephone, we call her Percy all the time. So she just calls Persephone Percy, um, which I always thought was going to be if I had a daughter someday. I always thought I want to name my daughter Persephone. <laughs> And so when I got Persephone the cat, I named her that. And Percy for short, I thought it was just like two very cool names. And um, so I got to do that, but then <laughs> that, name, that name was used up. My wife was actually open to naming a boy Dionysus if we had a boy, um, which I think is such a cool name from Greek mythology too. Or actually um, a Greek uh, God, who we now know is probably an alien. <laughs> um, so anyway, I started watching this show Condor last night. It's on Epics, and I like it. It's good. Uh, CIA stuff. Um, only one season on there. Oh, speak of Kaliandra. Oh, yeah, so she says Percy. Nuka, that's an easy one for her. And she loves, she talks about Nuka all the time. <laughs> and... Um, and Kalyandra, she gets most of it. She's like, Kandra. <laughs> but she calls her the baby one because Kalyandra has short hair, so she looks smaller. Um, okay, also, Thursday, I've got Ascending to the Fifth Dimension course coming up. It starts Thursday. It's a three-week course. It's danielscranton.com slash ascension or look for the link down below on YouTube. Uh, that's clickable. And then beginners group channeling class also coming up the end of the month, 27th, danielscranton.com slash learn. Go check that out or click below, um, on YouTube. We cleaned off this table for the first time and God only knows how long it was covered with fruit baskets and junk. And now it's my mom's coming. So we're starting to clean, <laughs> clean up a bit more around here. Um, so there's plenty of room for this cat to roam around on the table now, but she wants her, her pets. All right. Um, thank you all again for watching. I love you. Blessings to you and yours. I will be back here tomorrow night doing it again. Please hit subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, everywhere else, just come back to the same station and you'll get more tomorrow. Bye everybody. <laughs>